All right, welcome back to KM6 LYW Radio. This is a show about amateur radio or, or ham radio with an emphasis on digital or data modes. Uh, today, we're going to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, we're going to do a digital radio mode, but we're not going to use ham radio frequencies. We're going to use broadcast FM. Maybe you've rented a new car or maybe you own a new car that when you tune into an FM radio station, it, uh, a little HD symbol pops up on the dashboard for high definition radio or digital radio. Uh, we're going to talk about that today. We're going to decode those digital broadcast FM stations using nothing more than a Raspberry Pi and a simple RTL SDR dongle. And we're going to do that this time on KM6 LYW Radio. <laughs> All right, I probably did that way too long. Hey, welcome back. That's the bumper music. You know, I got to start writing these down because uh, there's all, there's obviously a lot of duplicates there. All right, so digital FM radio. Um, we can listen to it uh, with a Raspberry Pi and an RTL SDR dongle. Uh, let me make myself a whole lot smaller here. I'd have my RTL SDR dongle plugged in right now, uh, so I can't show it to you, but maybe I can give you a screenshot here. Um, it's one of these things. These are ubiquitous. These were initially designed to do like uh, broadcast television on your laptop, but the radio community got a hold of these and says, oh no, we're going to use these for amateur radio. Uh, they're real broad uh, band, uh, broad spectrum uh, radio receivers, and we can use them to tune into not only ham radio frequencies, but also broadcast FM frequencies. And let's take a look at broadcast FM right now on our Raspberry Pis. If you haven't already, um, on your Raspberry Pi, uh, run... Um, apt git actually should be sudo apt git install gqrx sdr i'm not going to actually run the command because let me make this a little smaller yeah see it's going to go out of frame here huh gqrx sdr and you you're going to install that and then you're actually going to run gqrx like this and we're going to pull up our RTL SDR dongle. Um, that's this guy right here. This is what drives that is the software GQRX. And you'll see I'm tuned into a 93.108 uh, FM. I've got this muted so it isn't going to be intense. I'm going to press play here and I'm going to turn down the volume. And you can see this is an FM radio station. I can turn the gain down here just a little bit to make it a little more evident. Um, you can see the FM wide FM broadcast right here, uh, a bunch of funny squiggly lines, and that's the guy's voice you just heard a second ago. Now, what you may not notice when you're browsing through these is here's another squiggly line over here, and this is a different station. This would be 92.5, but you also notice these other little lines on either side of the waterfall on the left and right side. Uh, that is digital data. It's a digital encoding of the FM signal that you're seeing in the center, which is the analog uh, version of that. And there's quite a few of these. It really depends on your re region. I was kind of surprised to find them all. Uh, let me just flip forward through, I don't know, 96 point, I think 6.1 has a strong one here. Here's a good example of this guy over here. See right in the center, we see an analog signal and then we see these two solid bands coming down the sides. Um, that's the digital encoding right there. So we can use a cool piece of software that will drive this RTL SDR. I'm going to bring that up right here. This is, this is the device we're using. It's plugged into a Raspberry, actually it's plugged into my PC right now, but I did this on a Raspberry Pi. This is a Linux PC, so all the commands are essentially the same. Um, what you want to do is go out to the GitHub account of Theory. Dash io dot and the project's called NRSC5, and that's the the data mode that we're talking about. And this is where the NRSC5 software is that will decode those little bars that are going down on either side of the analog signal and convert that into actual uh, sound or music or talk radio. Um, just to give it a little more background, um, I kind of found this on rtl-sdr.com. It's a great site if you want to use one of these uh, nifty little RTL SDRs. Um, one of the articles there is how to decode NRSC5 with, the, with that dongle. Um, there's some links to the GitHub site there and also some theory behind this. Uh, theory, theory, am I saying it right? I hope I'm saying it right if you're watching. Um, you were essentially the person who was able to figure this out and decode it. There's an overview of the signals here. Um, there's a lot of complicated math, um, <laughs> filtering a signal with an embedded sideband. Uh, in digital mode and decoding, ultimately de how to decode digital or HD radio. Um, I'm not going to read you that website. I'll be honest, I don't understand every bit of that, but I do know how to go to our GitHub account and follow these instructions. You'll see them right here. These do actually work. I tried them on a Raspberry Pi, so you can do the 
Uh, you're going to install some um, packages that help you compile stuff. And don't be afraid of compiling software. You know, just run these commands and it should work. If it doesn't, then, um, I don't know, ask on a forum, you know, how to get it to work. Um, ultimately, we do a git clone to get the source code and we actually compile the software. I'm not going to go through the compilation process. You can basically cut and paste these commands into your Raspberry Pi. But ultimately, the net result here is, let me minimize this guy. So what I might do is just close this. You've seen the signals, you know what they look like, the secret digital signals in there. Um, so I've actually, I have the radio here. I have some bookmarks of some stations that already have digital signals. Not every FM station has that. There's about six of them over here. I'm looking at my cheat sheet here. So I'm gonna go with the strong one. Uh, let's go with the Eagle. I've got NRS uh, 96.9 FM here in California. And the command syntax is really simple. You just run NRSC5 and then 96.9 and then zero, that's the program. Cause there can be multiple programs embedded into a single digital stream. So I'm just gonna run this command NRSC5 space 96.9, that's the FM frequency and then the zero for program zero. And I'm going to run this and the volume isn't turned up yet but you'll see it locking, you'll see a bunch of stuff. Um, you'll also see artist Van Halen, <laughs> and the uh, title is Hot for the Teacher. Um, so we know it's playing music. I'm going to turn it on briefly because the platform on which I'm hosting this will immediately spot uh, material that shouldn't be copied here. So this is, this is it here. I can turn it up for a second. And that was, act that was actual digital music. Um, on in an FM in a sideband, uh, just outside the analog signal for uh, what was it, 96.9. And I can hit control C to stop, and I can try another station. Um, I don't know. So what I'd like to do is find like some talk radio so I don't have to deal with the copyright K uh, issue on this hosting platform for these videos. Um, I, I should have done this in the morning when they have more like rock stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna run it on a different station, NRSC5, that's the command. I'm gonna put this on 96.1 and station zero. Um, I'm gonna keep this turned down. Just see, I really wanna find somebody that isn't playing music, copyrighted music. And uh, you probably just heard a little bit of that one. So that one's doing music as well. Um, let me just try this guy. You know, it's always commercials on these FM stations. And the one time I want to do a demonstration and not hear music, the one time in my whole life, <laughs> they're playing nothing but music. Um, so we are on 98.5 now. Here we go. A commercial, unbelievable. So this is digital music. Um, I might edit out some of those other ones. We'll see if DTA censors me. But this is digital music. There's no hissing. There's no popping. You might get some. You might get some artifacts like you know a, a beep or something or a, a brief uh, you know boop or or, or drop out, but you won't get any hiss or anything like that. And honestly, I do this uh, all day now. I just plug my RTL SDR dongle in my PC. I run uh, this client here NRSC5. I tune it into a station I like, 96. Point, I don't know nine the Eagle, all the classic rock stuff that you know <laughs> we do here. And I listen to dis digital music all day here at the workstation. And this is using nothing more than the Raspberry Pi. Actually, since we're here, I'm going to go ahead and control C to stop the music. And I'm going to get the SDR dongle since we're not using it now. And this is an RTL SDR dongle. And I, you can plug that into a Raspberry Pi here. This is a Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, so you need a, a little uh, USB adapter cable for that. But you put plug these things together and you do use the software that I just showed you. And you are listening to digital radio on your Raspberry Pi. Now, for extra credit... I didn't get a chance to figure this out. Somehow pair your Raspberry Pi with a digital speaker. Maybe you guys can figure this one out. Um, that way, you know, you can tune to a station, have it play over your Bluetooth speaker. Or, you know, you could just use an audio dongle as well, you know, and do an output to that. Um, but that would be like a cool Raspberry Pi project. There's probably one out there. I'll leave that to, as to you guys, like as a homework assignment to really knock the, uh, the edges off of this. Because right now we just install some software, run a command and listen to music. Uh, but it's really cool like to take this out to the pool, um, have your Raspberry Pi and digital music. There really aren't many handheld HD radios, so this is kind of a, it would be a unique thing for you guys to make. So figure that one out. Let me know how it goes. All right, so getting back to uh, people who make all of this possible, 
Uh, that's going to be the patrons of this channel. Um, if you are a patron, you get access to the DigiPi image. I'm looking for the, the patrons here. Here you are. Patreon.com slash KM6LYW. And it, all the patrons get access to the DigiPi SD card image, um, which is at digipi.org. And it has all of the data modes that we talk about on this channel. You know, JS8 call, FT8, FL Digi. And all of them are accessible using nothing more than your laptop or phone or Wi-Fi device. It's all browser-based. Um, you don't need to know Linux command line stuff to use the DigiPi and get access to all of these radios. So you take a DigiPi with the fun little screen on it, hook it up to your radio, and then start using it with nothing more than your Wi-Fi or uh, tablet or phone device. The DigiPi gets, goes to patrons of the channel. Thank you, patrons. I appreciate it. Patreon.com slash KM6LYW. Um, you get that DigiPi image, uh, has all of the modes that we talk about. In fact, it would be cool to put an FM receiver in there, um, FM HD radio receiver. Maybe I can, I'll figure that out. All right, Foo, Steve, and uh, Mark, Gray, Brian, Jay, Christopher, Tony, Michael, Ian, Jim, Brad, Simon, Buddy, Kevin, Robert, Norris. Hey, I see I'm getting a little further down. Kevin, Harold, Malcolm. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the way down to Jeff. Um, there's hundreds of you now, and this really helps me put time in uh, on the DigiPi project. Uh, there's a lot of software engineering that goes into that. And, you know, the wife's wondering, Craig, why are you spending all that time at the computer? It's like, well, I'm, I'm trying to get the DigiPi image working. You know, I need to have every data mode available to me conveniently via my web browser or phone. And that's why I work on the DigiPi. So any Patreon contribution really contributions really help me out with the XYL guys. I get to take her out to dinner now and then and say, hey, it's the ham radio dudes that are helping out here. Um, it's a community now. Uh, Paul, Frank, Refuse Software. Refuse, Refuse. If it's a weird name, I'm probably going to read it. I really like seeing the uh, the foreign call signs. O-N. Is, is that Czech Republic? I think they're okay. Felipe, thank you for the contribution. A kiddo, Alexis, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. All right, so this has been about FM digital radio, broadcast FM digital radio and listening to it uh, at home. Uh, my name is Craig. I am in California, and uh, I'm clear. <laughs>